welcome back to Mount Kettle Kitchen. So tonight I am just making a quick side dish for our pork. And I'm gonna be making creamy goat cheese cauliflower puree. So let's get going. super super simple I have one medium head of cauliflower I just cut it up into six big pieces we're going to do one cup of stock two tablespoons of lemon juice and we're going to do one cup of water I'm gonna pop the top on, make sure it is in the sealed position and let me bring you up front. I'm gonna steam this, so we're gonna hit steam. We want high pressure for four minutes. Four minutes is up. We're going to shut or hit stop. And do a quick pressure release. All right, so the pin has dropped. Always open away. And we're going to drain this. So I have a colander already sitting in my sink. If you wanted to, you could definitely put a couple of cloves of garlic in there. When it pressurizes, the garlic would get soft. So I'm gonna let the cauliflower hang out in the colander. We're gonna turn on the brown and saute option on high. We have a tablespoon of olive oil. And I am going to put in a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. If you want to do more, by all means, go ahead. So I'm gonna let those toast up a little bit because I want them to wake up because they've been sitting in the jar for a little bit. And just so they can get nice and toasty to give an extra depth of flavor. So I'm gonna let this hang out for about a minute. All right, so the seeds have been toasting up. I'm going to stick the cauliflower in there. We're just going to let this brown for about two minutes. And that just gives it extra flavor as well. All right. So now you want about a teaspoon of nutmeg. I always do fresh nutmeg. I feel like the flavor is better. I like to use nutmeg whenever I'm using dark leafy greens or if I'm doing anything with cream. I'm going to add in six ounces of soft goat cheese. I got that at Aldi's. Love me some Aldi's. Get a little mix real quick. Do a little bit of salt and pepper. Cauliflower is like potatoes. They need a lot of seasoning. And the goat cheese I used was garlic and herb. I'm gonna put in a half a cup of cream. All right, don't need this. So if you don't want to use an immersion blender in this because it is a Non-stick, mine has guards on it so my blade doesn't hit the pot. You can definitely do this in a food processor. So I'm just going to whiz this up. All right, make sure there's nothing else there. I'm gonna shut the pot off and we are done. You see the red pepper flakes, they've been nice and ground up. So I'm just going to serve this up. I'm going to use it a, as a bed for my pork schnitzel. And there we have it, a nice healthy side dish.